there. Oh, hello there. Okay. So I've gotten some questions. I got to make a quick YouTube video and then I'm off to uh, my daughter's birthday party. It's not actually their birthday. It's just the party. Anyway, so I've been asked a lot of questions. I've been doing a lot of thinking about this and I think I have got the easiest way for us to do this. All right, so we're gonna pull up our shape tool. We're gonna make two similar tri rectangle thingies. One's big, one's small. All right, and now we're going to go to our good old friend, but we're gonna change the name. Okay, now we're gonna call the name the treasure map. Okay. So on our paper, we're looking, that is a horrible treasure map. That's better. On our treasure map, we look and we got two little boxes. Okay, so one of them is big and one of them is small. This is what we're going to work with. On this particular treasure map, we have these labels. And it says that we need to find the measurement FG. Find the line FG. Well, the line FG is right here. I don't know what it is. So I want to find it. Therefore, I'm going to mark an X because X marks the spot. Now, ask your question. Is this X on the big rectangle or the little rectangle? That's right. It's on the little one. So we're going to put that in the small line. What is the corresponding side to this X? What is the same side on the big one? Well, it's this one down here. That's the same side. But in a rectangle, we know that the top and the bottom are the same measurement. So we're going to put 3.5 because that's the same. That's the corresponding side. That leaves me with two other measurements. So which one's in the big? Well, if I go to the big rectangle, I have 2.5. If I go to the small rectangle, I have 1.9. Now, all I got to do, cross multiply and divide. Okay, it's that simple. Let me go through and remind you about multiplying decimals. 3.5, 1.9. It's two digits, so we have to multiply the ones first. 9 times 5 is 45, carry my 4. 9 times 3 is 27, plus 4, 28, 29, 30, 31. Now I'm gonna multiply my tens, but it is a 10, so I have to have my placeholder zero. One times five, one times three is. Now I add them. Five, one plus five is six, three plus three is six. But remember, I had to steal decimals. I stole one here, stole one here. That means I need to give back two and two. All right, one last step. I have to divide 2.5, let me get rid of this. Two point five into six point six five. I cannot divide with a decimal on the outside. So I need to multiply by that by 10. Doing so moves the decimal. Whatever I do to the outside, I have to do the inside. Multiplying that by 10 moves the decimal. And then I put the decimal above where the decimal is under the bar. How many 25s go into 66? Ask it like it's money. How many quarters are in 66 cents? Two quarters are in 66 cents. Two quarters is 50. Now I'm going to subtract 6 minus 0, 6 minus 5, bring down my 5. Again, we're dealing with quarters. How many quarters fit into $1.65? 6 quarters fit into $1.65. 
Six quarters, well, that's a dollar fifty. Subtract, add my zero, bring it down. Six quarters again is a dollar fifty. Subtract zero. X marks the spot, and X is two point six six. Start with your unknown, use the tic-tac-toe, find your corresponding sides, then cross multiply and divide. Hopefully this makes things a lot easier for you. Okay, and this works on similar shapes. Don't forget December 17th, uh, that's the deadline for doing the extra credit telling me how tall our flagpole is. You must show your work. You must use similar shapes method. Hope this helps. Have a great weekend. I'll see you in class on Monday. Oh yeah, don't forget to click like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in class on Monday.